Hello guys, this is Safety Corner Nagpabalik Previously, we have discussed the minimum acceptable standards for uh, abrasive wheels in the construction So, today we will discuss uh, related to the abrasive wheels the hot works so, You know, the hot works is very dangerous in the workplace You can burn, you can uh, get your people hurt if you did not control the hot works so let's begin about this topic so at least we have a little bit understanding but uh, about the practice in the construction uh, industry or the hot works so the minimum acceptable standards in the construction regarding hot works let's begin minimum requirements this minimum acceptable standards aims to control workplace fire hazards and protect employees and the environment. Hot work is any activity which involves uh, naked flames, example, welding, brazing, flame cutting, the use of blow lamps, or any other process or equipment which produces sparks, etc or example cutting or grinding of metal so that means uh, naked flames that you are using the flame for your activity is a hot works including the activity that uh, uh, generate sparks is also hot, hot works general requirements Permits must only be issued in advance for a specific job for a specific time frame to a specific person. So, we, we discuss here all are to be specific because in the hot works we should be uh, specific for the job. So, we cannot issue uh, a, a hot works permit okay, for all types of uh, job or for all types of hot works so that means in one hot works like for example uh, cutting you should issue uh, one permit okay and you should give a time frame uh, so so that you will fully control that uh, activity and make sure that the person is specific for that job is trained and confident uh, on doing the hot works so this is to prevent the incidents of fire in the workplace construction the time period must be for one working shift but must never exceed 24 hours okay so when you issue the permit is only for uh, uh, one working shift you can extend but uh, you should never exceed in 24 hours so that means if you if you extend for at least three hours because your job is not completed you can extend provided that you still complying with the requirements of the permits and there is a proper handing over of the permits uh, involving the the uh, engineers on each ship and workers on each ship including the participation of the safety officers in the site but if you want to continue this for more than 24 hours so you should apply for another permit the supervisor is to brief the work team on the permit requirements before starting work so as supervisor you should be familiar with the requirements of your hot work permits so that you can discuss the safety uh, requirements the safe procedures of doing such hot works for your uh, team so before they can start the work because prevention if you prevent if they know already what to do you will avoid the accident regarding fire Fire inspection must be conducted by the persons undertaking the hot works before work starts to ensure all the permit controls are in place. So, uh, so 
the person who are conducting the hot works he should uh, uh, he must be uh, familiar with all the uh, fire hazards on that location so he will conduct inspection and make immediate rectification whatever the findings are in there and make sure before the start of the works all the controls are implemented a fire watch personnel must be present at hot work location trained to use firefighting equipment and must be aware on of how to report emergencies and the site emergencies evacuation procedures okay so if you have one person doing the hot works you should also you should also assign one fire watch personnel so this must be present in the location and this fire watch personnel he should be familiar and well trained on how to use the firefighting equipment like for example the fire extinguishers the uh, fire uh, hose reel so and make sure that this is available before the start of the work you know the problem is if you are the one doing the hot works you don't know uh, if uh, there is fire happening in your vicinity because of your job because you are fully concentrated to your job so but if you have a fire watch personnel he's the one looking for everything around your job including your job so he can see if there is something happening because of your job and uh, he know also uh, how to report emergencies like for example uh, you have a site emergency contact numbers he know uh, to whom he will report it in case of emergencies in case of fire okay and he know uh, also what is the evacuation procedures like for example uh, there is a fire happening and it, it cannot be controlled so he know how to evacuate uh, all the people in the vicinity uh, uh, safely on the emergency assembly point so he should know all of this so he should be familiar with the emergency uh, evacuation uh, area he should be familiar about the contact numbers and make sure that he has a, a communications that's why when they apply the permits he, he is coordinating with a with uh, responsible persons for the uh, in case of emergencies so he should uh, give uh, uh, aware to those people who are in charge uh, uh, responsible for the uh, response in case of emergency so that in case of emergency he is easily uh, he can easily coordinate with them and they are also aware about your locations so this should be uh, prepared before the start of the work. Permits are to be signed off only when the work has finished and after a 60 minutes fire watch has been undertaken, then the permit shall be returned to the person who issued it. All right, for the uh, hot work permits, so you will sign off when your job is completed, okay? And the fire watchman should stay at least 60 minutes on the location even the job is completed because uh, we doesn't we don't we don't know that the uh, there is small fire already generated or hidden fire already generated but it takes one hour to become visible so the fire watch watchman should be should stay on the on the locations and make sure that uh, there is no hidden or hidden fire is happening on the locations so so example your permit is uh, your uh, shift your end of shift is up to five o'clock in the afternoon so you should complete the job before four o'clock so that there is still time allocated for 60 minutes uh, observation in the area after your uh, per uh, hot work is completed and after that uh, you you need to return uh, the, the permit to the person who issue it to you 
because uh, this one is to register that your job is already completed so and uh, also they, they will file your uh, reports for uh, future reference in case of uh, again as uh, they need to do the job on in the future so they will uh, check what you have done on your uh, on your uh, previous job uh, based on that permit system okay so hot work area loose combustible materials shall be removed immediate uh, in the locations non-movable combustible materials must be covered with fire blanket so if you cannot remove the combustible materials you should cover it by fire blanket suitable fire extinguishers must be to hand or must be on hand okay so make sure that you have available uh, suitable fire extinguishers for your job like for example you are doing cutting you are using welding you should have a uh, 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 what type of fire is happening in case of uh, fire in your location the, the, like for example the, there are timbers there are cardboards or there are any combustible materials or gas fire so you need to check if your uh, fire extinguisher is suitable and appropriate for that uh, types of fire so mostly they are using uh, uh, dry chemical powder uh, in that uh, activity because dry chemical powder is suitable for uh, almost uh, all types of fire especially in the constructions gas cylinders must be secured in the vertical position on a trolley with an extinguisher present so this already discussed in our uh, compressed gas cylinders so why this is vertical I already shown uh, some uh, incident that uh, uh, when when the uh, gas cylinders is on the horizontal uh, uh, position and something will uh, uh, hit the the valve of the cylinder it will explode or because of sudden release of the the energy it will uh, create a disaster to your uh, area okay so it always should be secured on the vertical position on the upper freight trolley with extinguisher present so you should have also uh, extinguishers for the gas cylinders gas cylinders must be fitted with a regulator and plus back arrestors okay for that uh, regulator it, this is to control the flow of the gas cylinders you cannot use the gas cylinders with direct hose only without a regulator and also plus back arrestor the plus back arrestor it's uh, this uh, can prevent the fire to come back to your uh, cylinders uh, because uh, in case something is happening it will uh, it will control the the fire not to come to the cylinder so this one is required the regulator and uh, a plus back arrestor other personnel who may be affected by the work must be vacate the work area so if the, the other person is not uh, 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 included to the job and they will be only affected so remove the remove them from the area until the hot work is completed this is to prevent to minimize or to prevent their exposure in your hot works a suitably trained fire watcher must be complete a uh, 60 minutes fire watch before leaving the area as I discussed on the previous uh, slides use a spark box if cutting in high risk area so a spark box this is uh, something that enclosed area that you will put the uh, your uh, your uh, steel or any material that you need to cut so that you can control any sparks to go beyond that box the opposite sides of the walls shall also be checked and combustibles move away so also the opposite side of the wall shall all be uh, also be checked example you are do remember that uh, the the fire transfer is also doing on the direct contact in the radiations and also in the uh, convection so on the convection 
the the heat on the other side of the wall is will be also transferred to another side of the wall so you don't know that you could fully control your area uh, in your uh, other side of the wall but the, in the opposite side you don't know that there is also something happen because the uh, the uh, the heat is transferred on the like for example on the steel the heat is transferred uh, through convection the hot work permit must be displayed at the work area so you should have a hot work permit uh, available in the work area for verification of uh, inspector welding screen and warning signs to be erected when hot work is being carried out in the high traffic congested area so this welding screen and spark box is almost the same it is a uh, non-combustible uh, uh, material made of non-combustible materials that can prevent any uh, sparks or sludge going outside in your work area here are some example of the hot works so you are doing the grinding on the left uh, side fixtures you are doing the grinding works or uh, our uh, welding works okay here is the weld uh, uh, using a flame also flame uh, flame cutting on the, on the next pictures here is they are doing the uh, flame uh, uh, what we call this job is the uh, uh, waterproofing job okay and the other one is the grinding works and the uh, next one is the uh, welding works as well on the below on uh, below pictures okay guys i hope uh, you can see the in the below in the below pictures that uh, there is uh, uh, enclosed uh, by a welding screen and uh, sparks box so that means this area is fully controlled so there is uh, very minimal uh, chances of uh, the sparks or sludge going outside of these welding screens because it's fully controlled okay guys uh, i hope you you learn something from this uh, training and our next tutorial will be uh, mobile scaffold towers in the construction Thank you, see you next time.